Hey, good morning friends, this is Abhishek from TechVirus and in this video I'll be showing you how you can install Windows 8.1 operating system on MacBook Air. So what all you need, you need one pen drive, it should be at least 8 GB in space and then you can uh, keep optionally one external hard drive to make backup of your files, photographs and other things. This is not very much required but for safety purpose you need to make backup all right okay so first thing what you need is the ISO image of Windows 8.1 you can either download it from net or you can make image of your DVD ROM what you have purchased for Windows 8.1 and just make sure that you format this pen drive in FAT32 and then copy dot ISO file that Windows 8.1 ISO file into this pen drive then just plug in the pen drive into MacBook Air and you will see the pen drive name will be popping up on the desktop just make sure that you have Windows 8.1 ISO image in this pen drive what you need to do is just copy this particular image and paste it anywhere in your MacBook Air I'll select my documents and I'll go and paste it here you can paste in any other folder as well but for my preference I have used documents I have pasted in documents alright now what we have to do is we have to run one tool which comes free with all MacBook at least in Yosemite operating system it's called bootcamp assistance I need to go to spotlight search and type in bootcamp assistant and when I see this this will give me a pop-up and here is the introduction I have to just click continue now you will see three options here first one is create a Windows 7 or later version install disk yes I have to check this the second one is the to download the drivers I'll check all the three things and click next and now I have to select the ISO image I have told you like I have saved my ISO image in my document I'll just select this ISO image and click open for you like wherever you have saved just select that path and it says it will format your pen drive so click on continue again it will for confirmation and now it will start formatting your pen drive and it will write the windows file into pen drive then it will also download all the drivers from internet which is required for running windows operating system on macbook now once it completes the downloading of all the drivers it will ask for the partition it will ask like how much you want to give it to windows and how much you want to give it to macOS. you can just click on divide equally or you can drag this is a small dot left or right and it you can set how much space you want to give it to each operating system once you select that just go down and click on next and it will start partitioning the disk this process may take some time so I'll pause my video and I'll resume it once it reboots into Windows installation mode alright now you can see that MacBook has finished partitioning the disk and it has rebooted into Windows installation mode here I need to select some preferences and then I can click on next and then I need to put in my Windows key alright so after putting my Windows key here I can see I need to select which Windows operating system I need to install it's 8.164 bit I don't have any other options so I'll just select this and click next and then it will ask for the software license agreement I have to check and click on next here we can see that we have multiple partitions now just click on bootcamp drive and click on format this will format the drive into NTFS partition type now click next now this will start copying the Windows file and do all the process to install Windows operating system on MacBook I'll again pause the video for some time and once this installation is completed I'll resume the video okay now Windows installation is completed and I need to put the PC name I'll give any name which I want and then I'll click on next and I'll use express settings and here this username is the computer's username for Windows I'll put in my name Abhishek and then I have to put some password here then click on finish this will finalize your settings and it will take few minutes and then it will reboot your system now you can see that MacBook Air is getting rebooted and this will reboot in Windows I guess yeah now it's 
rebooting in Windows and this will do some more settings configuration and other things and then it will be ready to use okay so here comes the login screen and I'll just hit enter and then I can type in my password which I selected during the installation and this will take me into the Windows operating system alright now you can see I have successfully installed Windows operating system on this MacBook Air but still I have to install multiple things like uh, boot camp loader softwares which will install all the drivers for Windows operating system so how to do that let me show you first of all click on start button that's on the left side of your screen and then click the small arrow button and you need to find this PC if you don't find just type in the search box uh, this PC okay now you can see here just click on this PC and this will show you what all components are there on the system so as you can see on the right hand side that D drive is the pen drive which I have plugged in here I have boot camp folder just double click on this boot camp folder and click on setup and once it gives pop up click yes and then next and do next and this will install all the drivers which is required uh, for running this MacBook on Windows just to let you know that this is the same pen drive which I'm using where I have installed the Windows 8.1 uh, software that ISO image and all those things I have done I have not removed that pen drive I have kept it plugged in so after doing this step then I can remove my pen drive out of this MacBook so don't have to worry this is very simple and it's really easy to install Windows 8.1 on MacBook okay so bootcamp installer has completed now and I'll click on finish and this will ask for the restart so let's click on yes and check which operating system it will boot for will it give me any option to select which OS I want to boot in like Windows or Mac let's see you can see that it booted directly into Windows it did not ask me for which operating system I want to boot in Mac or Windows so don't be worried here you have a very simple solution to do that let me show you what once you are in Windows you have to click on desktop uh, that yellow color tile and then come to this bottom arrow and click on boot camp and select boot camp control panel click yes here we have options like which operating system you want to restart your computer to Mac OS or Windows so if I select Mac OS X and I click on restart this will restart my MacBook into Mac OS I click OK and let's check if it restart into Mac OS or not okay so now you can see that uh, my MacBook Air is getting restarted into Mac OS I am again not getting any option to select Windows or Mac it's just restarted into Mac OS alright let me just try logging in and check everything is looking good or not if any changes was made to my operating system after installing Windows 8.1 no everything looks good everything looks similar how I left my Mac OS there is no change to Mac OS it looks perfectly okay alright so now I'll tell you like how you can choose your operating system while booting up your laptop booting up your MacBook so it's very simple so after switching off your MacBook Air and you want to get that option like do you want to get into Mac OS or Windows you have to just keep pressing alt option button and hit the power button make sure that you do not leave the alt or option button now you can see on the screen you have multiple drives coming up one is Macintosh second is Windows and those are external drives I'll select Windows and hit enter similarly if I would have selected Mac and I would have hit enter it would have booted into Mac OS 
So guys, this was my detailed step-by-step -step video how you can install Windows 8.1 and Mac OS dual boot on MacBook Air. So I hope you liked my video and if you like, do subscribe my channel. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.